Hey guys, so I'm currently on my way to pick up the last of my 4th of July fireworks. Now we're gonna be picking up a ton of product today. We're gonna actually gonna be buying for three different shows. So we're gonna be buying so much stuff, we're gonna have three different vehicles. And of course, when, as we go along, I'll kind of point out what we are getting for what. I actually have a Excel spreadsheet that I typed in all the stuff we're buying. Yeah, I actually researched it all, got it all listed, even that tax included in there. So we're ready to buy some fireworks today. Now, I want to tell you guys, we're almost there. Um, two things I always do when I go to a fireworks store. I always bring my camera to take pictures, document the trip. You guys love to see that. That's what we're going to be doing today. The second thing I do is I always wear a firework t-shirt. You can see I'm wearing pyro... Extreme Pyro t-shirt. I forgot which one I was wearing. Extreme Pyro t-shirt. The reason I do that is because whenever you walk into a fireworks store, especially around the 4th of July season, there's a ton of people in there, and if you're wearing a firework t-shirt, whoever's working is going to notice that, or they, at least they should. If they're not, then they're really not paying attention to the customer. Anyways, they're going to notice that, and then that's going to give you a little bit of a credibility um, that you kind of know your way around fireworks. So I just always do that, It's and you know I'm, I'm obviously proud to be a Pyro. So it's just something I would suggest doing. Okay, so we're just kind of getting to the town now. I'll kind of show you guys the whole layout. It's pretty cool. So we're just crossing it over into Missouri. Um, my windshield's extremely buggy, so you're gonna have to deal with it. I should have cleaned it off before we did the video. Okay, so right here in front of me, we got Shelton Fireworks. We're not gonna be stopping there today, but I do enjoy going there from time to time. I have a good relationship with the manager over there. And then right across from Shell Fireworks over here, you'll see it coming closer. There's a tent. I used to go there every year. The guy that runs that tent's awesome. He'll give you some good deals, whatnot. Great place to go. You can see it right there coming up. And then over here back by Shelton's, we have two more fireworks stores. We have Heartland Fireworks right there, the first big building. I like going there as well. And then right beside it is B&B Fireworks. Also some good prices. And that's kind of a funny story. It's a father-son um, uh, competition, if you will, family feud. Right here in this red building, that's the trade post. Um, they have some good fireworks as well. Then we have this fireworks over here. I still haven't been in. Um, same with the tent. And then we are actually going to this store right here, which is Warhawk Fireworks. So let's go ahead and go inside, and I'll see you guys in there. 500 gram cakes. I might need more than one cart. Probably need like three or four. See, he already needs another cart. He's ahead of us. Got my price list ready to rock. Got an iPad and I still. These are this car full of stuff. Midnight Sunburn, Grill Warfare, Enigma. Got a lot more to get to. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to keep an idea. Wait, Wait, so why we're here. Hey, how much Two is guns this up. caliber for a case? You remember? Yeah, it's right. You're all organized. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so be quiet. I didn't read it. We got guns up, stroke cake, four minute fireflies, another stroke cake. We're gonna get two of each. Yeah, we got two of each listed. Gotta make sure my it's all coordinated. It fills up car already. We're doing my stash now, and then we'll after we get that all done, we'll come back and then we'll do the the other show. So, round loud and rowdy. We got a couple of those on here. I got four on my list. leaving the shelf of there. Gotta make it look more full. Okay. I mean seriously, we're gonna need another card already. Um, Asian Sensation, that's on the list. Got four of those on the list too. Nice nine shot, this is all for my show by the way. Nice nine shot cake. Two. 
Okay, we got those four. Oh, oh, there's some over here. Oh, yeah, we need one of these. Amazing ballet. 57.25. Two hundred twenty shot goes kind of slow, nice color, and some small reports, nothing loud, and it speeds up really freaking quick. And then the last couple are all whistle, so it's a gonna be a good one for a. Uh, I think I'm just gonna use it as a showpiece in mine, and I think I'm gonna use it as a kind of a fake finale in another show. It's my show, people are gonna know that's not a finale. Easy Street, you need that. I got two of those down here. We're gonna need another cart. We're riding shotgun. I have four of these down on my list. And the reason being is they weren't anything special, but they were, I think you guys saw it in the demo video, but they were constant shots, um, long duration, and I figured putting four of them together would make for a you know, just basically a filler cake, and um, you can see the price on that right there. It's not a bad price at all for one cake, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab four of these also. We need a honey pot, which is that gold fan cake we shot off in that demo video. Awesome cake. We got two of those on my list. Let's see here. That's my golden bear. Two of those. We need apocalypse. Need two of those. And that's that really hard hitting one that was at the end of the demo that everyone seemed to love, which uh, I don't blame with. It's awesome. So we're gonna get two of those for my show. Still got more to get. Uh, Ninjas at Night is another good one. It um, has some kind of, it's a hundred shot, it has like a scrambler effect. And I'm gonna mix it with something else. And so for a hundred shots, the price on that. And I'm gonna get two of those. Oops, there's the pin. Okay. Alright, we still got some more 500 gram cakes to get. If we, if we got enough. Two of these on there. There are more over there. And then we got four Gorilla Warfares. Which is quite a bit actually. And this one's a great one. This one's gonna be a good one for a fake finale. I think I'm gonna do all four together as the fake finale this year. It's just a rapid shooting cake. It's a big blow. Okay. Alright. Now I think we're moving on to the two hundred gram cakes. Yeah, but first we need to get one of these. Case of Excaliburs, that's coming, hopefully it's coming with us. We'll come back for that one. So we'll come back for the Excaliburs, we need to get some more shells and the 200 gram cakes. So let's go back around. We have two Matrix Pyro. Of 
don't know if he's got concept pyro here. Why don't you go to the other store? Mummy awaits. Two of those. Check out the price on that. Great cake for $7.50. Texas rattlesnake. Six boxes of these because look at that price. Thirteen twenty-five. That's basically a dollar a shell at the retail level. That's an awesome price. Get six boxes of these. Okay, so let me grab my other car of fireworks for my show. How many Texas rattlesnakes do you think we should do for my show? How many you want to do? <laughs> I don't know, I already have one. I was thinking maybe four. I'm, I got two for mine. You think two is enough? No. <laughs> Two's never enough. Okay, so now we're getting fireworks for the other show, and we're just gonna go straight back to the 500 grams again. Since we just got the carts for my show, I kind of know where everything's at. Let's see here, we need two Gorilla Warfares. Those are gonna be the opener for this show. So I'll go ahead and grab those. Okay, so we got two Gorilla Warfares. Um, we need a cobalt bomb, hydrogen bomb, atom bomb. I see three of them there. I think the third one. I think they're actually at the ends of each table too. Cobalt bomb. I said three ounces too. <laughs> Neutron bomb, atom bomb. So we have cobalt, we have hydrogen. Okay, so we need it. Hold this way. I'm trying to get one of those. It's hard in the USA, it's only 1975. That's, that's a possibility. I get, it left a little bit of wiggle room with this show because, oh, I didn't see these over here. Because I, uh, I knew there's going to be some stuff I want to impulsify. Let me see, these are all Showtime stuff. Dirty Dancing in the Sky. Sounds intriguing. Where's... 1825, huh? Dirty Dancing in the Sky. Keep that, keep that one in mind. We'll come back to that one. Okay. So, we need... We need two Excalibur kits for this show. I really like Excalibur sticking out. It's kind of like our, you know, cart ram.
to do a apocalypse. Because that's just such an awesome cake that you know you can't go without apocalypse. We need amazing ballet. Where's amazing ballet? Okay, we're over there. We need one of those. One bad mother, we need one bad mother. Really fuck. Oh, here's the atom bomb. Atom bomb and neutron bomb. Okay, we need one of these. Each of these. And a whole bomb series this year. Not to duplicate cakes from my show to this show, but some of the really good ones, um, Apocalypse, Amazing Ballet, uh, Grill Warfare, they're, it's, I mean, they're so good, it's going to be too clear to your audiences that they'll never know. A lot of you guys will know that, but they won't. So just keep that in mind when you're watching all the fire displays. That's why some of them are duplicated. So we need two, one bad mother. one. And I have a whole bunch of tuner M cakes to pick up. Hurricane Georgia. Let's chop that out here in the demo. It was the 25 shot triple berry, um, triple berry cake. All right, two of those because that's just a really cool long duration cheap filler cake. Okay, we got Looking for um, I think I'm the Coco Mania. Two of those. Sorry, I'm in the way. You're fine. He's doing math. Yeah. I'm an art major, I can't do math. Just me and me and math, I just I couldn't let it be, I did it all before. You got the you got that is just the way I am. You got it down. Okay, he doesn't have robot rage in the store, does he? I don't think so, no. Okay, I'm gonna have to substitute. Um, do you know where the mercurial, I can, the right mercurial here, B is? Right here. It is right there? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna get like four of those. So those were, these are pretty cool. We shot one off the other night and they, um, oh wait, there's two different, oh, that's bump there. I want that one. Yeah, I want mercurial B. We shot one of these off the other night. And it has some cool. What it do? Well, they, it's, it yeah. has a nice B effect, but it has a nice tail too. Yeah. And I'm thinking four of those together. Great price on them. You know, be some fun action to put all those together. Good, uh, do you know if Red Hot and Blue is at this store? Red Hot and Blue. You know, off the top of my head, no, but I think it might be. Oh, there's a lot of tuner and cakes over here. Okay, red hot blue, and then we're fire. I know we're fire XPS, I saw it when we were shopping earlier. We're gonna do red hot blue. You could just tell me it was right there. You didn't whack me in the point of it. Red hot blue. Got it, Craig. Yeah, I thought it was here. Got two of them. It just had a lot of red, white, and blue, or red and blue. I don't remember exactly, but I watched the video and I liked it, so we're going with it. Okay. Fireworks Fiesta. I remember that was over here somewhere. Fireworks Fiesta. Nice little sprinkler cake for 200 gram cake. Um, you know, for this show, this is a really cheap cake that is just going to make some, you know, add some cool effects. We're doing these, we're going to do these. Okay. 
I'm gonna grab some more shells. Some of the cakes for this show I already got at home. Um, so I bought some cases. I'm gonna, you know, kind of take one cake of some of those cases out and put it into this show. Some some of the cakes you guys saw in the previous video, I'm actually gonna put into this show. Mainly because I didn't need three or four of them in my show. Okay, I think I still have total exposure. Yeah, total exposure. Which is these right here. For some reason, I thought these were. Uh, I think I'm crazy. Anyways, we're gonna get two of these. Just some shells. Good price for 12 shells. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As far as shell, shells go for this show, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of shells in there. I got some shells at home I'm gonna be throwing in this one. But this one's gonna be predominantly cakes. Uh, mainly because I didn't have a whole lot of time to set it up. I just got told the budget yesterday, so it's kind of a, a rush to get everything together. But it's gonna it's gonna come along nicely, I think. Alright, let's go pay. Bum ba -dum, bum bum bum. Okay, so for the third show, what do you got going on over here, Craig? Um, so far, I've got a case of Excalibur, two Guerrilla Warfare, two Midnight Sunburns, two Enigma. Um, then I got two Fireworks Wide Open, which is a 200 gram cake. And then two Mercury or four Mercurial Bees. Like See, that's, that's some show. fun stuff. Um, I threw a couple of those bump bears in there just for fun. Oh yeah, I see, I see two of them right there. I also have four Texas rattlesnakes, one loud and rowdy, and then I added four mummy awakes, four high plains blaster, and I'm looking, I think I'm gonna get a couple of one bad mothers, of course. Good cake. See, the, uh, the thing about this particular show that we're doing is they like loud and they like a lot going on. So they don't really care if we have it coordinated with effects. They just want a whole bunch of sky puke. And I'm more than happy to do that. It makes the show a little bit easier to do that. And um, that's kind of what we did last year and I got a lot of crap for it. So letting you guys know ahead of time that that's what's going on. They just want things blowing up in their face. Yeah, if they're not getting hit by debris, then something's wrong. That's right. <laughs> that is a true fact. And I see they're adding up my, my, my total up there. So he's paying for that one separately than I'm paying for these two. But uh, I'll go up here and see what the damage is. Ooh. Cart number one. Cart number two. Cart number three. <laughs> Cart number four. And then we have two cases of Excalibur to grab. <laughs> so it's just another 12 kits for those of you that don't know what it's in a case. So we have two cases back here rent to grab. Four cards plus two cases. And we're gonna be loading them up into the vehicles. Look at that, two cases of Excaliburs and my truck bed's half full. <laughs> We're loading this trunk up with fireworks. Let's see if it's gonna be turned around. We're loading this up with fireworks here. It's gonna be exciting. I just took pictures of it. Okay, so it's all loaded up. The only thing that's really showing is the x cows here. We actually do have some more in the front of my truck. We have the more in the back of our car. Uh, trunk's completely loaded up here. And then the back of this is actually loaded up. Is there any in the front? No. No, we actually got it on there, so we probably could have made it in two vehicles, but um, those X calibers in the back of a car, you know, it just, that would have weighed that down so much and filled it up instantly. So, hey, it works out. All right, well, let's go celebrate. <laughs> well, there you guys go. There's the last fire purchase of the 4th of July season. You know, I say that, and the more I think about it, the more I want to come back sometime next week, right before the 4th of July, and pick up a couple things, and you know it's probably gonna happen. But it's probably gonna be a very small purchase, and it's not gonna be worth videotaping. But, um, you know, we got quite a bit of fireworks in these three vehicles. We're gonna go home, unload it, organize it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys watch all the firework displays.